Welcome to another edition of the Stack Supplement Podcast, where we run down all the top stories and excited announcements shared on our website from the past seven days. And uh, it was not as busy this past week. It was still pretty loaded with uh, announcements, news developments. In fact, I don't think there's ever a week that goes by on Stacked where it isn't jam-packed full of absolutely everything. Uh, we make sure we're pumping out every little bit we can. In fact, these days, it's more about being selective and making sure we share the more important ones, not necessarily a new unflavored or fruit punch creatine or stuff like that. We try and make sure it's uh, all new supplements, interesting things and developments. Uh, but yeah, last week was a little, not as busy, but there was one brand that kind of dominated a lot of what happened. And uh, we'll be going over each, or a lot of what it's done. Um, we're going to kick things off um, with news from the international giant, arguably one of the biggest uh, supplement companies in the world, and MyProtein, who has uh, teamed up with another superhero outlet. Uh, we've seen them do this many times over the years. Uh, they did a bunch of collaborations with uh, DC Comics. We saw uh, Wonder Woman, Superman. There were a there was a Justice League one, if I'm not mistaken. And they've even stepped up with uh, I guess similar type characters and stuff that aren't from the superhero universe in Power Rangers. And again, the the number of collaborations that My Protein has pumped out over the years has been impressive to say the least. And their latest. It's not with anybody from DC Comics this time, um, unlike the Batman, Superman, all that we've seen. This time around, they've got together with Marvel, uh, and they've done a whole series of uh, special edition flavors. All of them are for the clear, uh, their signature clear protein powder. And I will admit, they look pretty badass. The original Justice League and DC ones weren't as cool as I thought they could be. Even the dedicated Superman one, I felt, could have had a bit of extra pop. Of course, I'm, I'm talking from the perspective of seeing just the breadth and uh, extensiveness of the sports nutrition brands that are out there. But again, it, I felt like it could have, they could have been done a little more in your face. But um, the Marvel ones, the, the My Proteins Marvel collaborations, I think are a bit, a bit, it's a bit of a step up. They're a little more slick and sleek. They're all black. They're pretty cool. The, they've built the branding from each of the superheroes into the whole thing. Uh, so the tubs themselves, or the, I guess the, the color of the products are all black. But then they have sort of like a, I guess like an icon or a graphic representing each of the heroes that the, the four different flavors of clear protein are inspired by. It is a bundle of, uh, yeah, like I said, four different flavors. Uh, each of them have all of the usual clean, lean, high protein profiles that we've come to know for my proteins, clear y isolate, but again, different flavors. And so there is a Spider-Man, Hulk, Captain Marvel, and Black Panther, and you can see their, uh, you know, they're pretty much their faces or their representation on the front of each bottle. And the flavor differs for each superhero. So for uh, Spider-Man, it is strawberry raspberry. For Hulk, it is plum kiwi. Uh, Captain Marvel's is orange mango. And then Black Panther's is blue raspberry. Now, the interesting part is, and I don't know if this has changed, but I would suspect that it might be at some point. Uh, you could only, originally, initially, when they launched, you could only buy them in a bundle. So that bundle was a stainless steel shaker, a full-size tub of your choice of the four superhero-inspired flavors. Then you got sample packs, um, three sample packs, one of each of the other flavors. So you couldn't go ahead and buy tubs of each superhero. You had to buy this entire box set. And obviously the box set is significantly more expensive than buying the tub by itself uh, as you get the nice the box that comes in, the stainless steel shaker and the samples, uh, and then you get the full size tub. And even if it works out close, it's not gonna be obviously as cost effective as buying a tub of each, which some people might have wanted to do. So if you wanted to in fact do that, get a tub, full size tub of each of those uh, superhero collaborations, you would have had to have, you would, as far as I know, you still have to buy uh, four of the bundles, one of each flavor. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this changes. I recall them doing something like this in the past where they had it in a bundle and you could buy separately. I could be wrong on that, but I, I would think this is, this is just a launch thing and we might see them sold separately or individually in the, uh, later down the line. Uh, but you can check that out as always with everything on here on the website stack.com. Uh, we now jump over to Raw Nutrition who uh, famously did a cost-effective pre-workout called Essential Pre-Workout, very straightforward. Um, which was basically the, some people call it daily driver. I think it's more value focused pre-workout. This is, this is a supplement where you kind of get solid ingredients and dosages, but it's, 
a tamer, a simpler blend where it brings the price down. Typically this lands products around the $30 mark. Some of these cost-effective supplements have been a little high on the 30 range. It depends what the flagship uh, competitor is. So if you were someone like, let's just take a pollen for example, typical of their pre-workouts are 60 bucks. So if they did a cost-effective one, it would make sense for it to be around 40. If your premier product is 50, 30, and then 40, and then 20, and so on, you get my drift. Uh, so Raw Nutrition's Essential Pre-Workout is a pretty solid competitor. It's, I think, if I recall correctly, it's under 30. Great formula, reliable ingredients, uh, and I say great in the sense of the price you pay, and that's something that you need to take into account when you look at this thing, because again, you can judge it and say that it's underdosed, or it could be better, or it could be more ingredients. Raw has that. They have Savage. They have other options if you want to spend more. The purpose of this isn't to give you the best, it's to give you the best for the price you pay. Uh, they did carry that philosophy and that approach across to weight loss. Uh, we eventually saw the Essential Fat Burner from Raw. Now we are getting a product called Essential Charged, or the Essential Charged Pre-Workout. And when I first saw the name or heard about it, I assumed it was a high stim version, and I'm about correct. It's not replacing the original. This is considered a more energy focused variant of essential pre-workout. So for those who want, so the original essential pre-workout is quite well-rounded. It's got a, a balanced blend of ingredients that equally support energy focused pumps and performance. Charged version shifts that balance a bit. It's got more for energy and focus. It still supports pumps and performance, but it puts a lot more emphasis on those sensory benefits like I said, to, for those who are like, you know, maybe I want more caffeine specifically, maybe I want it to hit harder and I don't mind sacrificing the other areas. So the formula in this one, again, there are a lot of similarities with the, with the regular or standard essential pre-workout, but the, uh, again, the point here is to give you more energy and focus while still being balanced and also maintaining that essential approach by being a cost-effective value focused uh, pre-workout. So the list on this one includes six grams of citrulline, two grams of tyrosine for focus, 3.2 beta alanine, 400 milligrams of alpha GPC, 200 milligrams of pink Himalayan salt, uh, theobromine, and then you get a nice hit of dynamine, and then the much higher 350 milligrams of caffeine and hydrous, because if I remember correctly, the original was 200, so it's quite a, pretty sure it's 200, yes, yeah, 200, sorry. Uh, so that's almost double, close to double, 75% more if you want to count it up specifically. It, it's a pretty big leap, and again, the point of this one, or the charged, essential charge pre-workout, is again for those who like that cost-effective approach of essential pre-workout but may want a high stim variant and that's the purpose here and i think they did a good job they balanced it out there are a few things different on the pump and performance side but then they've ramped up the uh, energy and focus side and, and just like i said put the balance more towards those benefits uh fitting for the name charge pre-workout of course uh keeping in that category new tricks has uh, unleashed its 2024 version of Outlift Clinical. This was confirmed as coming, I think it was about two months ago. Uh, Outlift Clinical is, is arguably the original Outlift, the, the pre-workout that I guess put the Outlift name on the map. This was launched, I think it was, a, I don't know if it was around or it was close to uh, when pre-gym started rolling out. I think pre-cage was around the same time. Uh, a lot of these fully dosed pre-workouts, you have to remember before, these guys, you didn't really see your traditional 3.2 beta alanine, 6 grams of citrulline, 5 grams of butyrate, all these things, you got mostly blends and occasionally you would see transparent ingredients, but it wasn't as common to sort of see transparent ingredients and see this, this uh, specific set, this familiar set of citrulline, beta alanine, betaine and whatnot. Uh, Nutrix was one of the earlier ones to do this with Outlift uh, Clinical, at least at the time when a lot of others were doing it and then eventually kind of created this whole trend. Uh, and yet it's been, it's held that position since, and it is revamped for 2024. Uh, some of the biggest changes are the fact that it's switching. So it, was, it is one of the rare supplements that has amino acids in there for recovery and uh, performance. Uh, the first version had BCAAs. They have switched to all nine EAAs in the 2024 edition. Uh, I'm going to rattle off the full formula here. It's pretty solid. Another big change is that uh, they've moved to pure citrulline. So I think the original had citrulline malate and a dose, I'm not sure if, I cannot remember the dose off the top of my head. I don't think it was, it wasn't as much as this. Uh, at, at the very least, it wasn't as much as this in pure citrulline. Of course, when you have citrulline malate, it's typically a two to one ratio of citrulline to malic acid. So if you were getting say nine grams of citrulline malate, just for argument's sake, six grams would be citrulline, three grams would be malic acid. So if you had nine citrulline malate, nine pure citrulline, 
you get 50% more citrulline in the pure version. Uh, so they have again switched to pure citrulline for the new uh, Outlift Clinical and the full formula I'll rattle it off for you now conclude 3.2 beta alanine, uh, 3 grams of creatine monohydrate, 8 grams of straight citrulline, 2 grams of tyrosine, 2 grams of taurine, uh, 80 milligrams of Anova, natural ca Anova Tea Natural Caffeine, and then 300 milligrams of caffeine and hydra, so a combined total of just under 400 milligrams. Uh, and then you've got all nine uh, EAAs to support recovery, as opposed to, again, the, the original three BCAAs. And then uh, rounding it all off is, of course, uh, estrogen, the ever-presence estrogen, there to uh, enhance um, uh, absorption uptake and just the overall efficacy of the formula. So pretty solid. Well, it's kind of, they've kind of just bought it into the new age. I thought it was a very fitting approach, very fitting update, very uh, suitable and sensible reformulation. It's available now over on the uh, Nutrix website. And interestingly, the price hasn't been blown through the roof. It was still $39.99, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it was $39.99. Uh, so they haven't uh, juiced up the cost again while they've evolved it i guess to fit it with the modern market and keep the outlift name going strong they haven't pushed it into that realm that we get with the with the typical beer workouts these days of sitting around the 50 mark um again keeping it very competitive at 39.99 uh from there we're going to shoot over to i think we're going to do this one i think we're going to talk about the uh the mammoth the mammoth story that i kind of just come across and thought it was well worth sharing so if you can recall back in January, was it? Maybe, I think it was January. Uh, Prime designed its own custom map on Fortnite and the game launched out the map code. You could go and play it, blah, blah, blah. And then shortly after this, the Logan Paul put out that he had produced three special edition bottles of Prime Hydration drink wrapped in a red versus blue design. That was the theme behind the map they, and the game they had put together and said that the top player of their map would win these. There were no specifics. It was very like difficult to get information. It wasn't like a press release or anything like that. And if you are a diehard Prime fan who likes to collect every single bottle under the sun, it was not easy. So a lot of people still ask me, is it real? Where can I get this? Blah, blah, blah. So that this, this did actually happen. This, they did indeed make these and they gave an entire set to the person who topped the leaderboard of the Fortnite map. Um, one lucky, as far as I, the person who won it said there were only two sets made. Um, one person uh, is the person that, that, that we, the, we, or the individual that we found that, that had them. Um, and then I, I don't know if the second set, maybe they kept, maybe they gave, whatever. Either way, uh, if the, what they're saying is true, there are two sets. The first one came out uh, given to the person who uh, was the top of the leaderboard, they auctioned it off, or they gave it to someone that auctioned it off on eBay. <laughs> um, and this thing fetched a mammoth figure. Uh, it went for 162,000 US dollars. And I'm not telling you that this was like, this was one set, this wasn't one container, this wasn't even one shipping load, this was three prime hydration bottles. Again, special edition, red versus blue, allegedly, two ever made. Um, so I guess if you were a prime collector, this isn't going to be something you're ever going to be able to get anywhere else. Uh, but it still went for $162,000. I believe the auction wasn't, I just thought it was sort of in pounds, but that's neither here or there. $162,000 US dollars is a ridiculous amount of money, again, for three bottles. You know, what's that work out to 50, 54 grand a piece? Again, so the bundle that the winner received did come with a Prime backpack, and I guess you got the backpack free, uh, if you want to f factor it that way. Uh, but no matter how you look at it, it's a chunk of change, and I, and I guess some people just wanted to have the uh, the one-of-a-kind collection and, and, and purchase the three. And, and it is worth mentioning, and a lot of people did ask this as well, so when Prime does these special editions, not all of them are completely new flavors. So some of them are reskins of already available options. These three are indeed the cherry freeze flavor. So if you were to, for the love of, I don't know what, you would want to crack open these $50,000 bottles and drink them, you're not going to get any different experience. The taste is cherry freeze, which has been on the market since December of last year. So the taste isn't anything different. It's purely the label that's wrapped around it. Um, 
crazy, crazy to say the least, but you, uh, if you know Prime and you know the following and, and, and how good of a job they've done on doing these exclusives and special editions, this, I would say this doesn't, shouldn't come as a surprise, but I think it still might. I still think that if I had to put a number on one of the most, if I had to, again, if I had to put a number on one of a kind, I don't know if I would have said that much money, but that is, that's what, that's what it does. So uh, kudos to the winner and the effort they put in. Uh, we're now going to go over to uh, General, is it General Mills? I'm pretty sure it's General, sorry, I'm just trying to catch up on this one. General Mills, the food giant General Mills, has created a protein version of the classic breakfast cereal Wheaties. Uh, it, I, I saw a quote uh, specifically around this, saying that this was going to be, well, I don't know if this was the goal, but it was going to be the highest protein cereal per serving uh, in the cereal aisle. Now, someone pointed out, and I thought this was obvious to me, and I guess you know, each to their own, that was a quote from them. That wasn't me saying that. Uh, and it is worth noting that, you know, a mass scanner can be the highest protein powder on the market, but it comes with 2,000 calories, so it's not necessarily the greatest. Uh, so in, in that sense, it's worth understanding that the Wheaties protein probably does have one of the highest protein amounts per serving at 22 grams. There are two flavors, one is 22, one is 21. Uh, and it is just your typical, or it's basically kind of like wheaty cereal with the protein twist. Um, but do note that 22 grams of protein comes in a 64 gram serving. So if you're looking about, if you're talking about protein, just the amount and serving per general, you could get any cereal and just say, you know what, it's a 200 gram serving and I've got 23 grams of protein. I don't know the exact numbers, I'm just saying, this isn't, uh, this is just the highest protein cereal per serving, not necessarily the best concentration, uh, like a superior lean Y isolate where you'd get, you know, 26 grams of protein in a 30 gram serving. This is 23 grams of protein in a 64 gram serving. So take the quote with a grain of salt. Uh, and I think again, it's just purely to say it's got the highest protein per serving, uh, in the cereal aisle, allegedly. Uh, and again, that at 64 gram serving, it comes alongside plenty of other macronutrients. You get 28 grams of carbohydrates, five to six of that fiber, six grams of sugar, 10 to 12 fat, and a calorie count of 270 to 280. Uh, so basically General Mills has thrown its uh, nostalgic wheaty cereal into the ring of functional cereals or protein cereals, which are a category that's exploded uh, over the last few years, not just in the US, but in the UK, there's a mountain of them available now. Um, but it's cool to see someone like Wheaties uh, get into it. It's always fun, uh, like when Coca-Cola did an energy drink. It wasn't the greatest. The guy thought it was one of the worst I'd had, but uh, it was cool to see them do it, right? Very similar to if Monster did a sports drink, it would just be cool to see a no one established name do it. Uh, and in the sense, Wheaties again, it's cool to see them do it. And the name will attract people. And I, and I always say this when big brands step into sports nutrition spaces, it's great to see because one, uh, it brings an alternative approach. It puts important factors that a sports nutrition brand might not be placing uh, importance on, and, and, and these mainstream brands do it. And then you get uh, the attraction of that mainstream audience. So your regular Wheaties buyer is probably not gonna grab an optimum protein powder. But now that Wheaties has suggested it's okay to have protein in your cereal, they may go down the path of a better high protein lifestyle. They may start investigating protein powders and it brings that person into the industry at least the market, that they would never have even considered. Uh, so again, very cool to see Wheaties do it. Um, respectable competitor, again, 22 grams of protein at 280 calories is not bad. And um, the carbohydrates are pretty reasonable considering uh, the ingredients they come from. Uh, again, I got to applaud a brand like that getting in on it. Uh, and it's a heating up category, especially with Ghost throwing its hat in the ring recently. Um, and obviously several other well-established names in the mix. Um, next up, we're going to go all the way to Optimum Nutrition. The legendary gold standard innovator has introduced a second platinum supplement. So it was not that long ago we saw Platinum Igniter. Sorry, I had to just double check the name. That was a very similar uh, pre-workout. I believe it was to the gold standard pre-workout. I'm pretty sure it was that very similar formula uh, to gold standard pre-workout. Uh, and now we've got... Um, Go, uh, sorry, Platinum Rebuild. And now this is a post-workout supplement. Uh, essentially a protein powder with uh, added glutamine and creatine. So it's not a uh, complete post-workout where you get a whole bunch of carbohydrates. Again, very 
essentially a multi-source protein powder with added glutamine and creatine. Uh, the glutamine and creatine at three grams each, it's creatine, classic creatine monohydrate. And the protein uh, breakdown comes at, I think it's 24 grams of protein from a blend of casein, whey concentrate isolate and hydrolyzed whey isolate uh, with three grams of carbohydrates, one and a half fat and 130 calories. So pretty straightforward, it's basically a whey blend. Casein's first on the list, so it's a fast, medium, slow digesting protein powder. And then they've added the glutamine and creatine in the mix, I guess, to sort of give it an, a premium alternative kind of twist for those that may have already been combining those two, uh, or just to add the, 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 the muscle building benefits of creatine to that of the protein powder. It is worth noting the price tag on this is quite premium, is quite high. Uh, Platinum, Ignite, Platinum Rebuild, it comes in at $59.99, uh, and that's for a tub of 20 servings. So it is definitely on the higher end compared to something like Go Optimum's iconic gold standard whey. That's obviously not a, as, as, as diverse of a blend of sources of protein as uh, Platinum Rebuild, but again, worth taking into account the price um, and for the added, for the variety of sources and then the added creatine and glutamine. Uh, check that out on the site as per usual. And then the last we have to wrap it all up is this one over here. Uh, it's Enhanced Labs. Enhanced Labs has come out guns blazing. It said it had a lot coming. Uh, it was saying that it was doing a massive kind of rebrand and I just thought it was going to be an alternative look. They have done significantly more than that. They're not calling it a rebrand, they're calling it a rebirth and it is very fitting because uh, this whole thing is a mammoth of a job. They have transformed their look. It's very different, very cool, uh, beautiful marketing. Again, great branding, great representation. But that's only the start of it. They have introduced a bunch of new supplements, uh, which we've been highlighting piece by piece over the last few days. Uh, there was the Top T Testosterone Booster, the IO Premium Whey, which is backed by uh, Plasma Nutrition's Superior um, ingredient optimized whey isolate. There is also IntraFuel, the intra workout, and then just today is Monday. Uh, they dropped Maximus Stim, which is a packed pre-workout or packed competitor for the pre-workout space. And again, all of the supplements are pre-loaded. It's a very cohesive approach. Uh, Enhanced Labs always had pretty good supplements. Uh, their pre-workout Rage was always pretty good. Their testosterone Black Ox is pretty good. But uh, here we've just got a just a much more robust set of competitors that uh, I just, you know, pretty solid, pretty well-rounded. Again, we've highlighted each of them on the site um, piece by piece. We've got a couple more coming, I think. Uh, the pre-workout Maximus uh, went up today. The formula is pretty solid. Again, you can check out all of this on the online, <coughs> on the website, stack3u.com. But yeah, the solid, uh, the highlights are pretty on point. You've got six grams of straight citrulline, 3.2 beta alanine, gram of the Pico 2 mushroom performance blend, uh, Genius Pure Alpha GPC, which is the high 90%, is in there at a solid, uh, I think it's 300 milligrams, 200 milligrams, uh, L of ATP, furthering performance, Neuro Rush, Dynamine, Tear Cream, and a solid uh, caffeine count at 302. So pretty well rounded, pretty robust for me. There are a few other things in there as well but I'm not going to be able to jam in everything Enhanced Lab has done <clears throat> in this podcast. It's huge. It's, it's a massive rollout. And again, we've featured about four of the supplements. I think there are still plenty more to go. Uh, they've been dropping them piece by piece. Uh, but yeah, head to stack, stack.com. Look, at, I think we will have an Enhanced Story at the top in the featured area. And if you click it, roll down to the tags at the bottom of a post and just click on Enhanced Labs, and it'll take you to a page that basically has everything. Uh, from Enhanced Labs who shared uh, <clears throat> in existence. So um, that should wrap it up for this episode. It was a pretty intense one, pretty long one. Um, a lot of intricate things, a lot of interesting things as always. But uh, I appreciate you guys for taking the time. As always, all we ask you do to support Stack is visit the website, utilize the service, enjoy the information, education, everything in between. Check it out once, twice, three times, four times, five times a day. Leave it open on your phone. Check it out on the train, whatever the hell it is. Make sure you visit it every day. Uh, share the site with your mom, your dad, your brother, and your sister, friends, family, everybody, and everything in between. And that is more than enough uh, to make uh, Stacked and the team at Stacked a, a happy man, a happy, <laughs> happy team. Uh, but yes, thank you. Look forward to having you back next time. Uh, we'll be back again uh, next week.